so dear students uh, today i am going to explain the concept of number system so what is the what is the meaning of number system so why we are using number system the importance of number system i am going to explain please subscribe my channel anu computer education so that in future whatever the videos i am going to upload in my channel immediately you'll get a notification so in the next coming semester you will be having the different computer subjects are there all the computer subjects like c c++ java whatever the subjects you have and web technologies whatever the subjects are there and business statistics 1 and business statistics 2 all the subjects related complete subject related videos i'm going to upload in my channel so immediately you'll get a notification notification so that you can access those content okay so please try to subscribe my channel anu computer education so now this is the first video i'm making on the content so please uh, uh, just just to spend 10 minutes you can score 10 marks in your final exam so so this is very very important question so what is the meaning of number system so next so next i'm going to the concept of number system so what is the meaning of number system i'm going to explain so listen everyone now just so here i'm writing so what is the meaning of number system okay so this is okay assume this is your computer okay this is your computer and here one is one human being is there now if the user human being want to interact with the computer what is required okay so you human being is giving any instruction to the computer that can be in the form of audio okay that can be in the form of text or information or data okay that can be in the video form okay video form okay it may be any format graphics or any format so what are the data which is given by the user so you know already computer can understand only one language that language is called as binary language so it is very very important sir what is the meaning of binary language any information which is can be in, represented in the form of zeros and ones zeros and ones this is called as binary language so you know when so what whatever the data which is given by the user always the user can understand uh, the computer can understand only binary language that is called as zeros and ones so what it will do so if once the computer is understanding any, any information in the form of binary number so immediately what computer will do it will do some it will start doing what processing so once the computer is started processing finally it will generate the okay output so if the computer want to understand for better processing so that has to be converted into the binary format so that is what in it to understand so this number system is helping us to convert any type of data or text or word or phrase has to be converted into the okay binary language that that is a way which is given by the number system so you need to focus on the number system okay so the same thing what i explained the same thing are given here so what is the meaning of number system i explained here just once go through with this concept okay so i given here so the computer can only understand the numbers thereby therefore convert each and every letter and word okay for numbers for better understanding and processing so these are very very important points you need to remember so already i said before any digital form of data so it may be any text or audio video anything you are giving that has to be converted into the binary that is called as zeros and ones so this is very very important so now this is the definition of number system so okay the next is what different types of number system so then generally we have so many types of number systems are there one is what binary number system okay so just with okay i'm taking the next one is i'm explaining what types of number system okay types of number system this is very very important so total we have two types of number systems are there one is positional positional okay positional number system and next one is a non positional number system okay non positional number system so first of what is the meaning of non positional number system i'll explain later we'll go to the positional number system so in the non positional number system okay in olden days if you want to count any objects we need to use the our fingers like 1 2 3 4 like that we are using fingers if the fingers if the counting is beyond the fingers then we are going to the concept called as like sticks and stones we are using to count the any object so that is called as non positional number system so in the non positional numbers we have we are going to use different symbols okay symbols we are going to use the symbols are like this the capital roman numbers suppose if i want to represent the number 3 so 3 uh, capital i write this will represent the number 3 if i want to write any number 4 i need write four roman numbers like this okay so for all these numbers we have now this four roman numbers will indicate number 4 so every number what are the digit i written these numbers are not having any position it means 
so if i move this number from here to here the value may not increase or decrease though always the remain the values remains constant because every number is having what same position so even if you are changing the order of the number suppose the second digit if i'm moving here and if the first number if i'm moving to here so you can so the numbers may not change its value so that is called as non positional number system so when you whereas in positional number system suppose if i'm writing 139 139 i'm writing every number is having every number is having position so what is the position of non this is called which which number system positional number system okay so what is the meaning of positional number system means that uh, 9 is in which position once once position so what about uh, 3 is in which position tens position what is what about the uh, one year hundreds position so every digit is having its own position suppose if i move this 9 from one one's position to hundred position the value will become 913 so it means become so before it is 113 139 but now it be, be, it is becoming what 913 so the value is increasing because every digit is having what position so that is called as positional number system so we need to discuss more about the positional number system rather than non positional number system so just whatever i explain just once go through with this concept okay so i say explained here types of number system positional and non positional position numbers okay in early days human beings are counted on fingers when the counting beyond the 10 fingers then they used to stones pebbles and sticks are indicated the value so i given everything in detail just once go through with this notes okay so the next i'm going to the concept called as non positional number system i explain these things you need to remember okay so it into very very important concept this is a compulsory question in your final exam this time so next okay now i'm going to the next one so just i'm going to the taking pen so now here in the non position position number system we have four total four categories are there and decimal number system binary number system octal and hexadecimal so what is the meaning of decimal number system deci means 10 so it is having 10 symbols or 10 digits that is called as 0 to 9 0 to 9 the basics the base or base you need to remember the word base or radix okay base or radix is nothing but 10 suppose if i want to represent any number in the form of decimal number system i used to like i need to write like this uh, 121 if i writing so then you need to write like this so by seeing this you can say this is whatever the number i written this is nothing but now decimal number system so remember whenever you are writing any number inside so that should be lies between 0 to 9 0 to 9 if it is other than 0 suppose if i writing 1 a 3 if i write like this so by seeing the number itself you can say it is wrong because whatever the numbers you return here this is not a decimal number because what is the meaning of decimal number whatever the number you are framing that should be lies between 0 to 9 that these digits only we have to use in the number so this is nothing but the decimal number system so next to number is binary number system it is having only two digits one is 0 and 1 so the base or radix is 2 so if i want to write any uh, binary number so i am writing like this 1100 0. So what are the number I written? If I want to represent this number in the binary, then you need to write like this. So what are the number I written? This number is nothing but your binary number. Okay. So, if, so, so this is about binary number. So what about the octal number? Octal number is having the digits or symbols called as 0 to 7. So what are the numbers I am going to write? It, it should be 0 to 7 only. Okay. Suppose example, if I am writing a 731. So can I say, is it an uh, octal number? Yes. Because 7 is also present here and 3 is also there and one is also there everything is a part of these digits only if i write 839 so by seeing this number itself you can say it is not an octal number why because 8 in octal the highest digit is 7 so you you written here 8 so by seeing this number itself you can say it is not an octal number it is an actually decimal number so what about the hexadecimal number hexadecimal it is having the 16 digits or 16 symbols we are going to use 0 to f so a means 10 a means 10 and b means 11 okay c means 12 okay d means uh, 13 and for uh, e means 14 okay and next one is f means 15 so these are the positions you need to remember so whenever you are writing any number like this so this especially these uh, a, a equal to 10 b equal to 11 c equal to 12 this when we are solving any problem like number conversion there it will be useful so this is about the number system this is very very important question if you spend this 10 minutes time you can score in a final exam also 10, uh, 10 marks okay so the next coming uh, uh, video will be related to the number conversion so what is the meaning of number conversion what are the different types of number conversions are there and one more topic i'm going to explain what is the meaning of binary arithmetic okay so the complete videos i'm going to post in my 
channel so that you can access those videos and uh, please subscribe my channel anu computer education so that in future whatever the videos i'm going to upload in my channel immediately you'll get a notification see uh, my intention is what to pass each and every individual student that is my main mode of uh, starting this youtube channel so once you subscribe so definitely i'm saying whatever the knowledge i'm having that everything i'm sharing with you with in detail the complete subject in the next coming semester you are going to learn the very very important subject that is called as programming with c and c++ so the complete subject i'm going to explain with my channel so please subscribe my channel anu computer education thank you